It's World War II, London is emptied of men, and women are given roles they could have otherwise only dreamed of. There's patriotism, there's sexism, there's romance, and there's drama. We're talking about the new movie, Their Finest. There's so many of us, they'll never get us all out. Mrs. Cole, cut! Their Finest tells a story of a British crew working on propaganda films during the Second World War. They try to boost morale at a time when London is being bombed by the Germans. People like films. Gemma Arterton plays Catherine Cole, who writes part of the script that needs a woman's touch. Women played a huge part, and they, especially in terms of acting, and the acting roles as well, because there were no men around, really, because they were all fighting. So women were sort of, it was like, Finally, women had films for themselves. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, you know, even if they were kind of sort of silly films, they were quite moving as well. And um, they had to get to people emotionally. Mrs. Cole will need someone to write the slop. Slop? Girl talk. Women's dialogue. The movie also shows men hanging onto their condescension as they reluctantly allowed women to fill new roles. Arterton's character tolerates it, at least initially. She accepts sexism because it was just part part of the daily grind and the way that women were. And they didn't have, they hadn't had the, feminism hadn't happened yet. So, you know, she's married to this guy that seems charming, but actually is really passive aggressive and, um, and demeaning. Um, and, um, and she just supports him and, 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 you know, then she gets this job and one of the first things that she's told is that obviously she can't be paid as much as the men and she just accepts that, of course. And, you know, as time goes on, I think she realises that she's actually got something to say and is, and is actually quite clever and talented and, act, dare, dare, dare they say, better at her job than some of the others. Bill Nye plays a movie star and he brings his Playing famous withering Frank delivery to yes, the part. A shipwreck of a man. Sixties. Looks older. We all have a part to play in defeating Hitler. Not this part. It's a corpse role. He's dead before the end of Act 3. I truly enjoyed working with him and I think he's really wonderful in the film. It's, it's both very funny but there are also some very moving moments with his character. He plays a... a Ham actor, like a fallen matinee star who's very full of himself. Um, it's, it's a film about films and he's the actor in the story. The critics are calling the film charming, witty and a romantic gem. You and me given opportunities only because young men are gone. But to turn our back on those opportunities, wouldn't that be giving death dominion over life? You know, everybody says this about virtually every movie ever made, but I think this is a very timely movie because it shows how, in difficult times, people can combine with compassion and with courage and look after one another and, and concentrate less on their, what divides them uh, than on what unifies them. They're girls. Girls don't want to be the hero. They want to have the hero. They want to be had by him. Tom oh. Cap. The movie with as much drama, comedy and passion behind the camera as there is on screen begins its worldwide release this week. If all of this stopped, I'd miss it. I'd miss you.